aluminum machining plant for Mercury. So we machine die cast aluminum and the lost foam aluminum components. Our machine components are used in our outboard product, uh, anywhere from 75 horsepower up to 450 horsepower in a racing product. So we have a, what we consider a traditional process, the Mazak Palatex systems. So those were installed in the late 1990s. Uh, they were an upgrade from very traditional legacy products, standalone equipment, dedicated machines, very customized for the product. Uh, and then the Mazak product, the Palatex, came in and allowed us a different level of flexibility in our equipment. The relationship between Mazak and Mercury Marine started in mid-1990s. Um, they were looking at builders to replace current equipment, so they were evaluating a variety of suppliers spent maybe a year doing that evaluation before they made a decision, picked a supplier, and then after that they picked their first project, which probably took another nine months before it became to fruition, became an order. I think the biggest technology that they're, uh, that they're embracing is still the Palatech and then the new series of machines. So they're, they're much faster, they're more accurate, uh, so they need less pieces of equipment, save on floor space, things of that nature. Uh, so when it comes to production, our lines, our Palatech lines are typically dedicated to a product. So the lines are sized to match the capacity that we need or we have the flexibility to move components around based on the capacity to, to fill the available machines. The Palatech systems themselves provide us that flexibility um, so that we can move parts between lines. Um, that we can flex volumes back and forth between products in, in, and utilize the same machines. So we currently have 98 AZAC horizontal machining centers spread across 12 Palatech lines and two automation lines. So advantages of the Palatech system, uh, first and foremost, is the flexibility for us. Um, if in a traditional operation, if you have one operator running one standalone machine or several standalone machines, uh, you have a limit to um, how many machines one operator can maintain. With the Palatex system, we have the flexibility that one operator could run as many as six or seven machines by themselves because of the system of delivering the fixtures to and from the operator rather than having an operator move from machine to machine. When I look at the automation lines that we've put in, I look on that with pride. I think that the engineering team uh, in conjunction with our suppliers have done an outstanding job putting together what I consider a world-class manufacturing process for some of our most critical uh, engine platforms. 